Hey guys, welcome to the Superhero Cut Show, where we're talking about things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. It's your boy, Stephen Hayes. Please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know when we post. So today, I want to talk to you guys about X-Men 97 and the ending, because the ending was insane, and it threw me for a loop, and I know it threw y'all for a, a uh, loop as well. So let's talk about it here today. So in the end of X-Men 97, episode 5, we saw that there were a few people that died. Okay, Magneto died. We saw that Gambit died. We don't know if Nightcrawler is dead. I think he isn't. And we saw that Rogue was crying, holding Magneto in the end, or really sad ending. And Rogue didn't even know that Gambit is even dead at this point. So this is what this is probably the craziest ending that no one has expected. This is this is this is one of the great episodes of all time that I've ever seen with just superhero content in general. And we also see Cyclops like about to flip out because they all saw what just happened on TV about, you know, this gen about Genosha being just wrecked. OK, so there are a couple of comic book stories that are coinciding at this point. So there's one story where there is a Genosha genocide. OK, and this is kind of what we saw, like right? the, the Sentinels came and just demolished Genosha. And if you don't know what Genosha is, it's a city that Magneto built. And it was a you know it's a place that accepted mutants because you know like mutants are just discriminated against and all that stuff, and this place destroyed. And then another, and then I think this is leaking into another story, which is where Cyclops and I'm pretty sure like Cyclops turns on on uh, Captain Captain America and that that kind of starts it. But there is a point where Cyclops is kind of like the extremist, you know, he's kind of against humans at a point. And he's kind of warring against them because of what because because what has happened to them. And I think that this is what is going to happen. I, I think that there's going to be a point in this show, and this might happen next episode, where Cyclops is like, and we even saw it in this episode where Cyclops was kind of even snapping about the fact that, like, you know, like we like he was saying, like, yo, we put our backs out there to save you guys, and the way that you guys treat us back is crazy and it's not fair. So those seeds are already planted. I expect the next episode, Cyclops becomes this, you know, not a revolutionary, but he becomes this person of like, yo, like the humans suck, and I'm done defending you guys. You know, like if you attack us, we're gonna attack you. And we could literally see Cyclops maybe turn some of the X-Men members against the humans. And this might be where we might have to see Wolverine and maybe Jean Grey and other characters step up because the, the deaths of Gambit and Magneto, and even and if Nightcrawler dies, which would suck because I'm a big Nightcrawler fan, this would affect the X-Men in a really big way because this is going to start that plot of you know, Magneto was right, he was right all along. The humans don't care about the mutants, all they want to do is kill all the humans want to do is kill the mutants and so this opens the door for a lot of stuff like that now in the comic books cassandra nova is the one that destroyed genosha and killed like all of the mutants. that was like six million people i think that died so i'm not sure if cassandra nova has something to do with this i will be surprised because i'm pretty sure we saw cassandra nova in the deadpool 3 film like in the trailers and cassandra nova is basically professor x's evil twin it will be very interesting to see that plot plot point happen, but you know the Sentinels are involved, so this has to be human play. There are also a few other things that we can't forget as well. Number one, we literally saw Cable pop up, and then he ended up going back in time. And I believe that Cable is going to end up returning. And Cable, my guess, this is my theory, that Cable might be the one to bring Scott back when Scott goes all enforcer mode, you know, trying to like defend you, defend the, the mutants from humans and stuff like that. He might be the one to bring Cyclops back and be like, Dad, like what you do after this is what makes the future suck. And maybe that's, you know, that's a part to do with, you know, Cyclops turning back to the good side and, and all that stuff. But, you know, is Magneto actually dead? You no, know, is Gambit actually dead? Can these things be turned? And I mean, we kind of saw Magneto's Nito's dead body, but can these things be changed? You no, know, it is it set in stone that they are dead. Is Professor X still dead, or are we are, are multiversal elements going going to be brought into this? You know, so there's a lot of questions there, and I just can't wait to see this next episode because I mean, this episode was literally amazing. And literally, I mean, it was everything you you could want in the X Men show, man. This was amazing, and the wild part is that. The main like Cyclops, Wolverine, they weren't even involved in this part of they weren't they weren't even involved in this episode. This is really a deep dive on Genosha, Magneto, Rogue, and Gambit, and Nightcrawler. So this is amazing. I can't wait to see the next episode. So yeah, man, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know when we post. Have a wonderful day and deuces.